All right, I'm just making stuff up now. Hey, this is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at the outro solo for Fade to Black by Metallica. Now this one is uh, kind of, I guess, kind of straightforward for a Kirk Hammett solo. It doesn't go all over the place. A lot of the parts are actually very recreatable, even though they are blues-based. It's a lot of like nice little sequence scale lines that are easy to memorize and stuff. So I um, hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. So we're going to start here at the at the uh, ninth fret on the D string hit that twice and then that's just seven on the G then we're going to do four bends on the uh, ninth fret whole step bends the last one release the bend pull off the seven and then come back to nine All right, the next phrase is Okay, so we're going to have uh started the the uh, ninth fret on the G over to the seventh fret on the B. And then that starts off a little three note sequence that he repeats, which is 8 on the B, 7 on the B over to 7 on the G. He's going to do that three times. Then we come up to and hit the 10th fret on the B string uh, twice. And then 8 to 10. All right, and then we're back to a little three note phrases, which is going to go 12, 10, 8. Then 10, 8, 7. 8, 7, and then 9 on the G. Back to 7 on the B, 9, 7 on the G. And then we're going to end it with 7, 9 on the D. And hit that 9 twice. So we have all together. All right, then we have this quick little lick. All right, so this just, just goes 9, uh, then 7, 9 on the G. 9 on the D first, then 7, 9 on the G. Bend and release, uh, whole step bend and release at the ninth fret. Pull off to 7. Back to 9, back to 7. Alright, and now we have uh, leading into this. So the first literally uh, fast series of notes here. We're going to start it with a 9 on the D, 7 on the G, and then we're going to do this repeated lick. It's a, you pick a downstroke on the 9th fret on the G string and do a whole step bend. This is just a fast blues lick is all this is. Then we're over at the 7th fret on the, uh, the uh, high E string with an upstroke into another upstroke at the 10th fret on the B string, which you pull off to the 7th. So it's just a little little mini sweep across two strings. And then you're gonna start that over with another downstroke on the ninth fret bend on the G string. You just repeat that lick. Do that little mini sweep is what's gonna make it get fast. All right, and then after he does that like eight times, He gets into this next pattern, which you need to memorize because it happens later in the solo. Um, but it sounds like this. All right, that's actually very easy to memorize. Um, we're just dealing with three different notes here. We have uh, tenth fret on the high E, pull off to the seventh fret, and then over to the tenth fret on the B, then back to the seventh fret on the high E string. So we had this. Okay. Now, you want to count that as there's one pull off there, because there was. And then we had those two notes after it. Now we do it again, but this time we do the pull off twice. And then you do the pull off twice again. And we're always in it with those same two notes. So the first time the pull off once, and then the next two times the pull off twice.
And then you repeat it all again, one, two, two. So all together, the whole lick is actually played twice. Okay, so that's how you keep track of it, just one, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two. Okay, so after we do that, uh, we'll, we'll run into that pattern a little bit later as well. We have a bend at the 10th fret, two whole step bends. And then a little triplet uh, downward sequence in the scale. Now that's just simple scale. So we just we're just going down ten eight seven on the high E. Then eight seven, then we start on the next note down, which is going to be eight eight seven, and then ten on the B. Then the next note down the scale is going to be now the seven on the C. So we start on the ten, then the eight, then the seven. Always going three notes down from each note. So three notes down now from the seven. That's now seven, then ten eight on the B. Now the next note down that we're going through this scale is the tenth fret on the B. Three notes down from that is just ten eight seven. And then we have eight. And now we're going to start from the eight, eight seven on the B to the nine on the the G. And now we're starting from the seventh on the B, and then nine seven on the G. And then we do that same little seven nine nine play twice there on the D. All right, the next phrase sounds like this. All right, so that's just uh, pull off from eight to seven on the second string over to the ninth fret on the G, back to the seventh on the B string. Eight ten. to the 7 on the high E, 10, 8, 7 on the B, then uh, 9, 7 on the G, and back to the, to end the phrase again. So we have, all right, then we kind of start that again, same lick that we did before, except when we get to this hot, the 7th fret, you just go 7, 8, 7, and hold. So we have this. So the beginning of it was the same as the previous lick. All right, now we have another uh, sequence of threes. Um, so we're basically just going to start with just seven, eight on the high E string, and then when we get to this ten, we're going to start a sequence of threes going down again, which is three notes down from this note, then the next note, the next note, which is one, two, three, one, two, three. So that sounds like this. The first half of it was that downward sequence and it comes straight back up. So um, that's basically we're starting here after we do this 7 8 to start it. Then we go 10 8 7 on the high E, 8 7 on the high E to 10 on the B, then 7 on the high E, 10 8 on the B, then 10 8 7 on the B string, then 8 7 9, 8 7 to 9 on the G. You've seen this before. And then 7 on the B, 9 7 on the G. Uh, we're going to continue going down now, though. We're going to go all the way down uh, 9, 7, 6 on the G. And then 7, 6 over to 9 on the D string. Then we're going to go straight back up the scale. Which is just 7, 9 on the D, 6, 7, 9 on the G, 7, 8, 10 on the B. Up to just to the 7 on the high E. Then you come back down, 10, 8, 7 on the B. And then go 8, 7, 9, 8, 7 on the B, 9 on the G. Then go 7, 8, 10, going back up. To 7 on the high E. Sounds like a lot of notes here, but then 10, 8 on the B string. And then you end it with a quick little hammer pull. Um, 7, 8, back to 7 on the B string to 9 on the G. Now, you gotta really kinda just hear that just to put it all together. So it sounds like this. Now 
So he's really just kind of going up and down through the scale, doing some little triplets coming down and then going straight back up and then coming back down and going back up. So if you just get those notes in your hand, it's really easy to just kind of start tracking him where he's going with everything. So let's take a look at now, um, we're here at the bins coming out of that. So it's a whole step bin there, four to, uh, basically five times. The ninth fret on the G. And then on that fifth bend, start doing some tremolo picking, just picking as fast as you can on it while you slowly release it. All right, now we're gonna hold this seventh fret on the G string and then hold a bar across the 10th fret on the high E and the B string. It's really just kind of you're like hitting it and then you mute the strings and down up, down up on it. Just kind of hit the chord out with the downstroke, then mute the strings. Okay, kind of a funky little thing. Three whole set bends now on the um, the B string, and then we got. So that's just a pull off from 10 to 7 on the B to 9 on the G. We're kind of messing around with the same notes over and over again, if you can't tell. Back to 7, 8 on the B. Hammer pull, 7 to 8 on the B. Pull off, 9 to 7 on the G. 9 on the D, 7 on the G. Let's put that together. All right, now we have this uh, fast little descending triplet line. All right, so that starts at, uh, this is kind of muted. Uh, we have a, just a little slight palm muting. Ninth fret on the D to seventh fret on the G. Now we're gonna start the triplets. We're gonna go nine, seven on the G to nine on the D. Now starting on the next note down, which is that seven, the second that we had played, we do three notes down from that, so it's seven on the G, nine, seven on the D. Then nine, seven on the D, then nine on the A string. Same thing we did before, seven on the A, nine, seven on the, uh, I'm sorry, seven on the D string, nine, seven on the A. So we have this. All right. Now we play 9-7 and scoot down to the, uh, just shift down to the 5th fret there on the A string. So all, all the three of those notes are on the same string. And then 7-5 over 7 on the low E. And then end it with back at the 5th fret on the A string. So we have... All right, and now we get back to the fast part, which is we're gonna go back to that lick that we did before at the 10th. It's gonna be that pattern here, but it's gonna be a different set of notes. So we're gonna have here, we're gonna have the pull off from 15 to 12 on the high E string over to 12 on the B, back to the 12 on the high E. But, so we have this, that's the one pull off. The series of two pull-offs in a row now is actually going to be pull-off from 15, then pull-off from 14, both down to 12. So we have one, and the same two notes after it, and then do that 15, 14 pull-off again. So all together. All right, so that was a little bit tougher one because you had to change the notes on the top string. So you do that whole sequence twice. All right, now we get to do it straight here, which we just go pull off from 17 to 14, over to 15 on the B string, back to 14 on the high E. So we don't have to change any notes, we just have to, but we still do the same pattern. I'm sorry, actually we just pick it straight through here, so that makes it a little bit, um, Easier, so we just go. So it's a straight through, just pulling off once each time. Then we go back to the same lick we did before, 
basic same pattern, different notes. Pulling off from 19 to 15 on the high E, over 17 on the B string. Now we're gonna do two pull-offs, and that's gonna be pulling off from 19 to 15, then 17 to 15, ending it with the two, same two notes. So one pull-off just from the 15, 19, and then two pull-offs in a row from the 19 and then the 17. So we have. So that's one time through the lick, you do it twice. All right, now we go back up. We're gonna end it here at the 21st fret, pulling off to the 17th fret, the high E, over to the 19th fret on the B string, back to the 17th fret on the high E. And just repeat that over and over. Just kind of play straight through just like the one before. All right, so let me play these slow. four whole step bends at the 22nd fret. Actually, there's about nine of them. Let's skip the four there. And then you come down to play 19 by itself, and now we do a sequence of triplets all the way down the scale on one string. So he keeps running into that same, he likes to hear the three notes just going down in sequence down the scale from each note in the scale. So we start at 20, 2, 20, then 19. Then starting from the 20 now, three notes down from the 20, 20, 19, 17. Now three notes down from the 19, which is 19, 17, 15. Three notes down from the 17, 17, 15, 14. Three notes down from 15, 15, 14, 12. Three notes down from 14 is 14, 12, I mean 10. Three notes down from 12 is 12, 10, 9. And three notes down from 10 is 10, 9, 7. All right, now we're going to start, since he's down in his familiar position again, he's going to start going down the scale, down the strings basically. So we have 9, 7 on the high E to 10 on the B, then 7 on the high E, 10, 8 on the B, 10, 8, 7 on the B, 8, 7 on the B, and then come back 8, 7 to 9 on the G. So you keep just continuing the same process, then from the 7 down, to 9 7 on the G. So we just went, just kept going down. Alright, so we end down on the, the G, the D string, 9th fret, back to the G, and do a quick pull off from 9 to 7. And then you just do a whole step bend of the 9th fret to end the solo pretty much. And he's kind of bringing it down again. And he just does another bend. And it really starts fading out there on the recording. He does like a little blues thing. He's a... So it's just a like, whole set bend of the 10th fret. Then high seven, E 7th fret. Then pull off 10 to 7 again. And then just repeat that. And then it just kind of goes off and it just just kind of fades out. So um, it's uh, you can then you can just kind of end it however you want, just you know, kind of staying within the key and everything. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a I know it's kind of a, a long solo, but it's got a lot of cool little licks in there that you could probably put in your own playing. All right, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.